Okay, let's try to do Devil Inside in Descript. First, uh, we're lucky. We're dealing with some pretty simple characters here. The V is a little bit off, but um, simply connection point, connection point. One at top, one at bottom. We're doing good here. Um, we won't look at the advanced uses quite yet. We'll look at them in a moment. So, Devil Inside, the simplest possible combinations. D, E, V, I. Now, here, we're going to have to be careful. we got to make sure that the V fits in the I. That is the hardest possible combination to make with an I, I have found, because they're both similar shapes, and you got to dip it inside of the cup. I wasn't careful enough, and I made it tough for myself. Devil. Inside. I. N. S. I. Now, the thing is, connecting an S with an I is difficult. You can either try to go really fat and all around. I very rarely try to do that. Or you just twist the I cup, like so. And you continue right into a word line. It's actually easier almost to connect this way and it takes less strokes. I, D, E. Okay, devil inside. So let's see what we can do to pretty this up a bit. Let's start with the word devil here. Now first of all, we can put the V inside of the E. While I did draw the V like so, the, the truth is the V is actually only this. We do not need anything else to draw the V. Um, this is only used when you're connecting from one letter to another through the V to put it into its place. So, let's see here. We can, we've can we got the V, we can put it directly inside of the E, like so. So, D, E, V. Uh, now, we've got, now we're left with the I. Again, difficult combination. You could just try to go around it. That works perfectly fine. However, the other thing you can do with an I, when you're, when you're in a situation where you've got an E, or an O, or a U, or anything, or anything kind of poking down, it's a little hard to get around it. The liberty that's allowed is you can actually connect it to that object, but you have to make clear that you're not another circle. So, you would go here, like so. Kind of like drawing it as if whatever the previous letter was was an emblem on a ring. And you've got your I. And now, I-L, this is I-L. You can also just move the joint up, and here you have I-L. As you can see, here is your L inside of your I. So, let's try to put all those together and make some nice, pretty versions of the word devil. D. E, V, I, L. There's devil. What else can we do here? We can go D, E, V, I, L. What else can we Let's try some more. Let's try maybe making it into a perfect box here. Kind of like a Chinese character. D, E, V, I, and we'll draw it off in that way, the other. Okay, so we've, we've start, we're starting to get some, some nice devils there. Now let's see if we can do with the word inside. So, I. Now here's the one thing about I-N. This is such a com common combination, especially because the word in is so common in English. So there's a special way to connect to the I. It's not used that often or with all that many letters, but some letters can be connected to this point of the I. And then you can continue a word down even. So, this is I-S. Here is your S curve. This is I-N. Uh, these were some special combinations integrated into Descript in the very early stages when it was realized that some words are more common, so some liberties had to be made. Now, so we're looking at the word inside. So here's in. Now we've got side. S, and as we know, we can curl the I. I, D, E. We could also consider trying to put the E here. Uh, it kind of feels awkward for me, uh, just because of the styles I like to use, but uh, of course, that's always an individual choice. So let's look at see how we can make the word inside. We can make it a perfect square pretty easily. In side. It's very nicely into kind of square like space. We could also try to make it long or tall. Tall would be very easy. Long even easier. So there's lots of ways we can do this. As you can see, Descript, the, the core advantage of Descript is that it's a cursive form that doesn't really rely on an axis. You don't, once you've learnt the, the vertical form of Descript, you can rotate this into almost any direction you like, skew it, contort it, and it's still legible. It doesn't ever change the meaning of the word. Uh, an A is a bend in the line. There's nothing else that's a bend in the line except for an A. This is how Descript works, and this is how you can turn a single you can draw a whole word into a single character.